All right, hi guys, Ponder here. This is kind of a late video, but honestly, who cares? Still gonna ride the trendy train here and react to the new Myriad Celestia trailer, A Night of Everflame, scene 33 from Honkai Star Rail. At the time of this recording, I just finished the second part of the Trailblaze Continuance mission involving Dr. Ratio, Skrillum Asta, and like the disappearance of all these researchers and how Duke Inferno was involved in that. There's also a description that we should read beforehand Int. I think that's supposed to be intro or introduction. Everflame Mansion. Setting night. Destruction. The blazing inferno speaks. The Swedish dreams have burned my flowers and brought my demise. We're gonna react to the trailer first and then we're going to see the names of the characters in the description right after. No initial thoughts or predictions. Have not read any comments but based off the trailer this is going to be about Duke Inferno and the Everflame Mansion. So here we go. Myriad Celestia trailer. A Night of Everflame, scene 33. We're gonna start this reaction in 3, 2, 1. An Akali, planet of festivities. Woo! A cradle drowning in dreams, a haven for the cowardly. Oh my gosh. The family has summoned guests for its grand celebration. Yes, indeed. The golden blood Okay, of who are these people? Destruction as an offering to them. Is this the Gentle Everflame mansion? Who this are these people? Wait. Oh my gosh, it's a Bible I angel <laughs> in the Old Testament. Showed you music of the strings. Serenade the celebration and hush the harmony into muted awe. These people seem like they're going to be the antagonists in the Pentacle arc. your former light and taught you mastery of the blade. Mm. Temper it with sulfur, made the elation, and let the performer's blood and tears pour. I can into already the tell abyss. that these. As you wish, Father. Wait, hold on. There's gonna be a lot of symbolism. I kindled a flame in your heart and granted you blood of fire. Use your wrath to shatter the preservation sanctum oh, and build their goal to create a statue of our sanctum. There's paths mentioned. You got it, old man. Okay. And Constance at last. My most ambitious and exceptional child. Mm. There is nothing more to teach you. Just remember. There's a lot of fire going on. Lots of burning. Strip away all they hold dear. Yep. And leave not the remembrances too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she won't be necessary. Take them alone. Oh, Catalina, holy mama! A little pessimism might be wise. Interesting character. What if we all end up dead. Oh, she is devious. Who's that in the background? He's a freaking rock star. Since oh, he's a freaking cellist. I like his character Still, design. It is wise to plan ahead, father. Oh my gosh, I genuinely what thought she died. Fall back if things become perilous? Dude, look at this villain design! Fall back! Such a thing does not exist! Oh my goodness. Destruction is brave and heroic. To cling to life is to delay in cowardice. <laughs> Relish Pinacone, savor its invitation. Oh, the Pinacone art's gonna hit hard, hard to dude! Its new master from Fedora. Oh, look at this lineup! Duke Inferno, ever flee, <laughs> Are you serious? There was different path mentions, all these characters. These are going to be the main antagonists of Pinacone. As mentioned before during the Trailblaze Continuance mission, Ifrit is Duke Inferno's real name, and he is over this Everflame mansion. I think this is the location of where it is. When I saw that whole lineup of characters with Duke Inferno, I immediately thought of this trailer from last year. Where is it? Oh my gosh, right here. The Winter Nights Lazo Tevet chapter interlude teaser, where they had the whole lineup of villains in the next arc. 
I don't know if anyone had similar thoughts. But with all the Harbingers, I recall them being a part of the Annihilation Gang, right? Not only the Japella Brotherhood, but also the Everflame Mansion. So the people right here and the Japella Brotherhood are under the Annihilation Gang, who follow Nanook the Destruction, who obviously don't care about these people. We're gonna run it back, and we're gonna try and theorize and break down what Duke Inferno is talking about here. Also the English voices in the description. There's Duke Inferno, Akash the Tuner, Dubra the Scribe, Katarina the Shacklebound, and Constance the Dahlia. Here are the characters from the Annihilation Gang. This is Honkai Starl's official tweet. The Annihilation Gang lights, stage, actors. Are you ready? The curtains will soon rise on the family's banquet, and the golden blood of the destruction will run all the same. Enjoy this woven dream of beauty, for the ever flame mansion will offer all to them. Here's more characters, the Annihilation Gang. Okay. This is Akash the Tuner with the cello. Shh. Since when have those on the path of destruction feared death? Really intrigued by his design. I thought he was a rock star, but I guess he jams out to the cello. He kind of looks like a chill rock star, but to me, he seems like the arrogant type. There's a tattoo that I noticed right here. I don't know if all Annihilation gang members have that, or maybe it comes from his background. I don't know yet. He's running like the, the light blue green fire aesthetic right here, as well as his jacket. Kind of looks like a, a light bluish tone of Huoho's green fire dubra the scribe so based off the trailer this girl's a puppet there's also like some cross tattoo or like cross design on her legging she seems like some kind of satanist cult with all the chains and the cross too and she's being possessed by whatever this is reminds me of marionette or sandrone from the winter nights lazo trailer dubra the scribe i shall follow your decree father they deem duke inferno as father but some kind of father figure compared to them or is that like a title that everyone in the Everflame Mansion call him? At this point, I have no idea if these people are going to be playable or not. Unless it's like a Kokolia situation in which these guys are to the brink of insanity that we have to defeat them in battle and then they die. Because I don't know if they're too evil to be playable. <clears throat> Datori. Because to me, I'm getting the vibes of these characters are just too menacing to be playable. Honestly, Hoyaverse could pull a complete 180 and just say, hey, these people are playable. Annihilation Gang part number two. I love this woman. Katarina the Shacklebound. I don't know what's gonna happen if her shackles are released from her. She's gonna release destruction every which way. Oh my gosh, dude. I can't stop staring. Katarina the Shacklebound. She won't be necessary. I alone am enough. I genuinely think that Katarina is going to be playable in the future. That's my prediction. I feel like she's going to be a playable pyro character. She has the big booba. She's uh, shown quite a lot. She has that confident demeanor. Kind of like Dia from Genshin. Like there's a broken chain. No tattoos as far as I could tell. But she's like chained up. Broken shackles. Black jacket. Oof. I don't know. I'm getting the vibes of if she's hot. Then she's playable. <laughs> That's Katarina. This is Constance, the Dahlia. A little pessimism might be wise. What if we all end up dead? Don't know how to feel about that one. I feel like since she's wearing all white, she is the most menacing and evil out of all of the Annihilation gang other than Duke Inferno. I don't know if this is like some dirt mark or some faded out tattoo. She has a flower ring on her left hand. She's also giving off hot mommy vibes. I feel like she's gonna be the most menacing. I don't know. That's just me. I'm gonna try and keep tabs on this one. Lastly, the Duke himself, Duke Inferno. A cradle drowning in the delight of dreams, a haven for the cowardly. So obviously we learn more about Duke Inferno from the Trailblaze Continuance mission. You know, his involvement in wanting to destroy the Herta space station and also responsible for the disappearances of Herta and also the other researchers that wanted to learn about the phase flame but by the end of that mission everyone was saved he's gonna be back sometime in the future the master or the father over this ever flame mansion the first time i saw duke inferno from the 1.6 special program live stream like towards the end during that Pinaconi tease. My initial thoughts were he's going to be playable, but the more that he is involved in the Trailblaze mission or in the galaxy or universe of Honkai Star Rail, he's making himself out to be the supervillain in the next arc of Pinaconi. So I guess we just have to defeat all of these bosses beforehand, and then we get to the final boss of Pinaconi. The Pinaconi arc's going to be insane. Okay, let's run it back. We're going to watch this trailer again, and we are going to like break down and decipher, theorize, all of what Afrit or Duke Inferno says in this trailer. So, let's get started. Anaconi, planet of festivities. Sorry for the abrupt pause. 
it looks like we're gonna meet all these people in Pinacone. Actually, probably not all of these people, but mainly Duke Inferno and how he's going to be the main villain or the main problem on Pinacone. A cradle drowning in dreams, a haven for the cowardly. Right. The family has summoned guests for its grand celebration. Mm-hmm. The golden blood will flow from the destruction. Perfectly timed that golden... I don't want to call this golden blood, but it seems like it is. It's flowing around this goat like as a sacrifice or something. And Duke Inferno has a freaking goat head too. Interesting. As an offering to them. Oh yeah, an offering. Children of the flame, this marks your rite of passage. This marks your rite of passage. So what, is he introducing all of these characters as official followers of the destruction? Or like as official members of the Everflay mansion? Akash, I lit a fire in your eyes and showed you music of the string. Akash. Oh, so he's like giving blessings to each of these characters, like as a confirmation that they are now on Duke Inferno's side. Serenade the celebration and hush the harmony into muted awe. So it does seem like each of these characters do have a thing that they need to deal with with each of these paths or aeons. So Akash has something with the Harmony, Shipei. And since we're going to Pinakoni and the family follow Shipei the Harmony, probably likely going to meet him in that arc. It will be done, father. Mm. Do run. I set your form alight and taught you mastery of the blade. Dubra. Duke Inferno taught her the mastery of the blade. So she's a sword user. No idea what element she might be. Temper it with sulfur. Made the elation. The elation. Temper it with sulfur. So are these characters going to be these paths when we meet them? Do they have something against this Aeon in particular? Like based off of their past, Duke Inferno and the Destruction have a way of trying to align their will with these Aeons to get their power or to be opposed to it. And let the performers blow their tears pour into the abyss. As you wish, father. Hmm. So that was Dubra the scribe, right? The puppet character? Katarina, I kindled a flame in your heart and granted you blood of fire. Oh, the, the hot mummy that I think is going to be playable? The shackled character? Use your wrath to shatter the preservation sanctum and- Okay, so it seems like for every mention of these paths or aeons, I think Duke Inferno is giving them the blessing of destruction to completely oppose and destroy, like for example, the preservation, the harmony, the elation. Build their gold to create a statue of our savior. You got it, old man. <laughs> okay. And Constance at last. Constance. My most ambitious and exceptional child. I, I feel like Constance is going to be the most evil one. Duke Inferno highly favors Constance. There is nothing more to teach you. Just remember, without Pelicone's midnight hour, strip away all they hold dear and leave naught but the remembrances to. Leave not but the Remembrance's Tomb. So what, do all these characters want to be an Aeon? Constance fighting against the Remembrance. Dubra against the Elation. Akash against the Harmony. Katarina against the Preservation. And Duke Inferno following Nenok the Destruction, but I don't know, or it's going to be mentioned, which path that he is going to be against. <laughs> she won't be necessary. I can take them alone. Oh, so Katarina is implying that we don't need Constance in this mission. Just send me alone. I can take them. I can take them all. In a fight, right? Right? <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. These animations. <laughs> she won't be necessary. I can take them alone. <laughs> Katarina, a little pessimism might be wise. What if we all end up dead? Hmm. Seems like Constance and Katarina are kind of against each other in a way. Maybe in ideals or perspective. I think Constance is just a little bit arrogant and would rather take this on than alone. Or is Katarina the arrogant one here? Akash. 
Since when have those on the path of destruction feared death? Mm. Still, it is wise to plan ahead, Father. I think this was the creepiest thing I've ever seen in this trailer. Or at least from Honkai Star Rail. So in the previous scene, her eye was patched up, but when she fell, she has an alternate power with her, which is this dark figure right here. So we're not going to be fighting against one powerful entity, but two. What is our fallback if things become perilous? Fall back? Such a thing does not exist. Mm. Destruction is brave and heroic. That's an interesting ideal. I think Duke Inferno is one to take as high risk as he possibly could take as long as the will of Nanook is fulfilled or done. Their destination is Pinaconi or crashing the party at the banquet. Let me listen to that again. Fall back, such a thing does not exist. I don't know what this entity's name is. It has a gigantic death scythe, but this entity is kind of hesitant on the plan of going full throttle, full in on this plan of going to Pinaconi and facing off against the risk that poses a threat to their plan. Duke Inferno honestly doesn't care. Such a thing does not exist. Destruction is brave and heroic. To cling to life is to delay in cowardice. Relish Penacone, savor its invitation. Prepare this beautiful dream to welcome its new master from Fedora. If it, Duke Inferno, ever flame Mansion. Okay, so from what we could tell from Trailblaze Continuance Mission, Duke Inferno doesn't plan on taking over the Herta Space Station. He plans on taking over Pinaconi. Like the whole planet. So I think his plan is, is to let us celebrate the whole of the banquet until the end where he comes in as the actual antagonist. The actual problem that we have to, you know, get rid of. I think that'll come probably later. I would assume version 2.3, 2.4, or maybe when the banquet actually starts. I think earliest we'll see Duke Inferno in-game will be version 2.1, 2.2 like an in-game model when he takes over, when he arrives. But I think latest we'll see him is 2.3, 2.4. Interesting. We have the League of Super Villains about to arrive on Pinaconi in the next patch. Gosh dang. Well, it seems that we have new characters, not only from Pinaconi, you know, Firefly, Sparkle, Acheron, like those characters, but we also have new characters from this trailer Akash, Dubra, Constance, and Katarina, all having, I assume, a grudge against the harmony, the preservation, the elation, and the remembrance. So these characters are getting blessings of destruction from Duke Inferno to accomplish these goals, to fight or oppose these Aeons. There's some interesting storytelling we're getting from Honkai Star Rail. I'd say the hype around Pinaconi is going to be fantastic, and when the storyline is executed, it's going to be really mind-boggling, very adventurous, very interesting. Pinaconi is about to hit hard. If you guys like my reaction, in-depth lore and analysis and theories of this Myriad Celestia trailer, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Would really appreciate the support. Go check out my other videos. I also analyze other Myriad Celestia trailers and also react to Honkai Star Rail videos. Do some gameplay here and there. Apologies if I sound dead. It's almost 3 a.m. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Join the Discord. Stay safe and stay awesome. Have a good one.